hot this weekend, but that wasn't anything. Well, I mean, what we're coming up with here, it's, Larissa. It's going to be brutal. Dangerous. I mean, just, yeah, just to put it that way, it'll be dangerous, brutal, for lack of better words. We are tracking just dangerous heat that's going to settle in today, stick around at least through Wednesday. But even as these temperatures begin to come down, on Thursday, we're still tracking a daytime high of 90. I do have that seven day forecast. We'll get to that in a moment. Right now, you see it's dry out there. We do have the chance for a pop up thunderstorm. Because of the heat and humidity, it'll produce instability that can uh, equate to a few rumbles of thunder here. But notice how it's very scattered, and usually we have some rain that helps cool us off. But that's not going to be the case, unfortunately. Look at dew points. Even when that rain is over us, it's still going to be very hot and very humid. And just like the tropics, when it rains, it turns even more humid after that rain has departed. So no relief, even with a little bit of rain that we will be tracking later on today. The best way to beat the heat is to hydrate. Drink lots of water, especially for folks who will be out and about, maybe enjoying their Monday afternoon. Don't leave the kids in cars because if it's hot out outside. It's even hotter inside of a vehicle. Don't leave your pets indoors and always check on your neighbors and pets. A cool shower also brings relief. So that's just a few little tips that you can uh, do in order to beat the heat over the next several days. Temperatures really reach their peak for us on Wednesday. Once again, dangerous heat unfolding with a daytime high projected of 97. Relief does return to us by Friday.